This is a note to future me dated Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018. As I mentioned in my podcast on May 21st, um, entitled Southwest Airlines and iHeartRadio team up for free in-flight music streaming, I said I would follow up with this podcast with monetization opportunities for podcasters who are uh, focused on food, travel, local events in your market. Well, to summarize what's going on, in case you missed my previous podcast, and I encourage you to go back to that, but I can wrap it up here too as well, that uh, middle of May 2018, Southwest Airlines announced that they're teaming up with iHeartRadio to turn up the volume, as they say, on its in-flight entertainment offerings with a new free streaming radio offering. Um, Customers will be able to use the onboard Wi-Fi to listen to live radio, a variety of genres, including rock, country, hip-hop, and pop, uh, but all on their phones, tablets, or computers. They can also create custom stations featuring music from their favorite artists. Um, The the iHeartRadio service will be free and accessible through Southwest's entertainment portal, where passengers can also stream free live television. Customers can also use the iHeartRadio app to stream music or access their personal libraries and playlists during the flight without paying extra for Wi-Fi. There it is. They can listen to your podcast on the flight. Now, I had some emails and some texts to me talking about, well, hey, if they've already listened to my podcast via Apple Podcasts, iTunes, uh, aren't they lost? No, you're missing your best friend here, Google search. If you've done your due diligence in regards to ID3 tagging, your podcast, your blogging, your posting, everything is juiced up around each of your podcasts about food, about travel, about your local destination, you'll be found when that visitor, that family is looking for more information about the destination they're going to. What do you do when you travel? You know, you hit Google and find out local destinations. What else is there to do? The nightlife, uh, destinations for kids, fun things to do for the family. That's where your information will start showing up. Then the opportunity is for them to listen to your podcast while they're on the the plane. They they may take a look at it as an entertainment option. They know they've got one hour, two hours, three hours in the plane. Why not ingest your podcast with all this vital information about the destination they're going to hours before they land? What a great opportunity for you. So how can you as a local events-focused or food-focused podcaster take advantage of this opportunity? potentially monetize? Well, number one, as mentioned in my previous podcast, get to know your listeners very well. Know who they are because this is key to the next step. Approach your local visitors bureau or your convention and visitors bureau, maybe a title one way or the other. Now, typically large metros um, will have one large one and kind of takes care of the other suburbs, but suburbs will have their own visitors bureau as well. Um, Each community probably has one, all supported by the bed tax hotels in the area. So that's another resource to go to as well. Here's where your sponsorship conversation begins. Their marketing is spent out of market for marketing efforts to pull visitors in. It's to get them to stay at hotels. Now, just because you're in the market doesn't mean your listeners are. Yeah, some of them are. They're listening to what's going on and using you as a resource to what they can take advantage of in their own market. But more than likely, if you're doing it properly, you've got tons of listeners outside of the market that, is, that a visitor's bureau is going to pay for. They want that one-on-one opportunity. So that's where the conversation begins, is you have this group of listeners that are now available on iHeartRadio as they are flying in. What can you do to entice them to do even more and make it well worth the time for the Visitors Bureau to be spending money with you? Secondly, if sponsorship dollars are not available or it's a, yeah, let's give you a try, but maybe ad budget's already spent, 
or they just want to kind of kick the tires on your podcast. Totally get it. Maybe a new concept to them. Here's an opportunity for you to make money on the back end. One suggestion. iHeartRadio has done this for years. Now, this is inside baseball information. I'm in radio, so I know how this works with iHeartRadio. I'm not an iHeartRadio employee, but this is how this works. If you have an iHeartRadio station in your market, you hear the half price Wednesdays or half price hookup Mondays or whatever the case might be, where they're offering you $50 worth of gift certificates for only $25. What they're doing is trading that gift certificate or that bulk of gift certificates for airtime, and they sell the gift certificates for half price to their listeners. They're making a cool $25 off of a $50 value gift card or gift certificate. You can do the same with your podcast. It's just a conversation you have to have in regards to what destinations, what events might be open to doing something like that with your tickets, with their uh, uh, events, whether it's a specific event or an ongoing, probably would be easier if it's an ongoing, like a a zoo or a nightclub, uh, a a comedy club or something like that, that you can have a long uh, expiration date on these. But uh, figure out the merch end of it. Send out the gift cards, the gift certificates, and you you are making money on the back end, and you've got people going to these events, and all of a sudden the ROI is there for them as well because they're seeing the gift certificates being redeemed over the long run, but it works. It's just working out the right deal with the uh, the, dest- the 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 events or the, uh, um, the the zoo or the comedy club and such. They work. But it all is in the details. And But first of all, you do need to know who you are podcasting to and know your listeners and get that sponsor excited about being a part of your podcast, that you are helping them with outside people coming into the market and helping fill hotels up for them. Thanks for taking notes with me. Uh, if I can be of any more assistance with this, I'd love to talk with you. You can email me at podcasts at circle270media.com. While you're uh, heading to my website, please do, circle270media.com. Sign up for my daily email newsletter. Uh, I cover uh, production uh, tool box kits, uh, ideas, and, you know, suggestions, um, sales 101 for podcasters, podcast news. Fridays, I hit uh, some suggestions on what you should binge on for the weekend. Uh, but I'd love to have you sign up for it as well. Circle270media.com. Thanks for taking notes with me.